Okay, hey guys, um, this is a, uh, another installment in the Particle Accelerator series. I'm sorry if it's dark or you can hear that fan in the background, uh, or for the, that blinky pixel right there, I don't know what's up with that. Anyway, there's a fan on in the background, and I am in a crawl space with two light bulbs. Um, I'm bringing you some very important updates to the, um, Particle Accelerator series. So as you can see, I still have my three TVs, right? One two and three way back there. I'm not sure if you can see that. And, um, uh, well, what I've discovered is that, um, through a series of emails with a couple of people, um, I, I won't, uh, reveal who they are or what they said unless they, um, give me permission to, which I haven't asked them yet. Anyway, um, they, um, they basically said that electron-to-electron -electron interactions at the energy of TVs will not do much and in my previous plan, I had planned to accelerate the electrons, collide them in the middle of a cloud chamber. They said that the electrons will just bounce off each other, which would still be cool. Interesting to learn about how they bounce off each other, right? I mean, if they don't produce any new particles, you can still study how they bounce off each other. But they said that it would be too weak to penetrate the tube and make it into the cloud chamber to study. So, um, what I plan to do is um, take one of these guns, right, so this TV right here is just for research. Its gun is too big to use with the other TVs, right? The, those two TVs way back there, right, have the same diameter of the gun, so those would be very suitable. Here, uh, this TV, that TV, and that TV have the same diameter gun, so it would be very suitable. Um, th this TV here does not, but those two back there do. Anyway, they would be very suitable to put in a pipe and glue them in. Anyway. Um, so, um, what I plan to do now is find a source of positrons. I know, like, sodium-22 and carbon-22, I think, are positron emitters. Anyway, I find to find a source of positrons, take apart, um, probably this gun, maybe that gun, and, um, instead of the, um, instead of the, uh, heater and the, um, cathode plate, which emits the electrons, I'm going to put in the sodium-22 or, um, carbon-22 or whatever I get, and then um, flip the polarity on all of the um, accelerator segments, so then um, it would accelerate the positrons. Then you would have positron-electron interactions, and it would be the sum of the two beams and perhaps new particles that would make it into a cloud chamber. I have yet to do enough research to figure out if this is possible, uh, viable, uh, but it's certainly more viable than um, electron interactions. Anyway, until then, I'm just going to have to do beam experiments, more than likely on this TV. Um, but basically what I mean beam experiments is, I'll demonstrate on this one, is experimenting with the beam. So in the front of the screen, you'd basically see your results, right? You'd see if the dot is changed into a line, or if X or Y happens, by, and you would try to change it by putting something on the tube. So a couple ideas I have, obviously, are putting a magnetic field there, okay? Everybody knows that will work. Putting a voltage differential, everybody knows that will work. So aside from the usual um, things, you know, just you know, just test out normal physics, right, that everybody knows, I want to actually try to do stuff. So I'm going to see if a voltage differential on a capacitor will work just as well as a voltage differential on a battery. I want to see if uh, RF waves will interfere with the beam at all, and if so, how do they do it? and just other ways of experimenting on the beam, perhaps aiming lasers at the uh, beam um, and other stuff to see if it makes the beam any brighter or does whatever to the beam. So uh, that's what I'm going to be doing for now until I can get a positron emitter source. I'm going to be experimenting with the beam. So it won't be a particle, well it is a particle accelerator already, it won't be a particle collider until I find a source of positron positrons, and if I see that positrons are indeed a viable option, um, and could get into a cloud chamber. There'd still be a lot of work to do at that point, but it would be progress. So for now, just beam experiments. If you happen to have an experiment you want me to do, I can most certainly do it um, within reason. I obviously don't have a quadrupole magnet, although I might be able to build one if you gave me instructions. Um, and, you know, I don't have any super powerful lasers. I have like one, two... Um, milliwatt lasers that I could aim at the beam, which I plan to do. Um, that's pretty much it. I might see if static has anything to do with the beam. You know, rub my feet on a carpet, stand next to it, 
obviously I want more quantitative results than static, but um, non-quantitative results are still fine, but I would prefer to be able to measure how far the beam moves off-center um, and stuff like that. Um, so I can actually get some real data off it. Any data I get off my experiments will be on the website um, under the project post page, which I'll make for this particle accelerator one. Um, also, I'll make a video every new time I do a beam experiment. I'll do the experiment and then replicate the experiment on video to have video evidence as well as for you guys to just see. So, um, that's it. If you have a suggestion for beam experiments you want me to do, or if you want to tell me that uh, positron emission, you know, accelerating the positrons and colliding them with the electrons won't work, or it's an amazing idea, it won't work perfectly, or if it might work, sort of, or if I really should be doing X or Y, I don't. The thing is that people keep sending me emails, oh, you should really build, like, a huge, like, 10-meter thing to accelerate, you know, protons or whatever, right? I don't want, I, I really don't want to stray too far from the roots of this experiment, meaning I still want to use these CRT TVs, and I still want to accelerate electrons and do something with them. Obviously, I can accelerate them, as well as accelerating something else and collide them. I can aim electrons at something and... Uh, and also my means of detection, you could change that. I just really want the core of this experiment to be a CRT TV. Because I think that means that um, a big step forward for particle physics and that you can really do something um, with something so commonplace as a TV, right? Everybody knows about TVs, so if you could, you know, really do that, then I think that'd be really cool. Because, I mean, everybody could do particle accelerator, build a particle accelerator in the basement, and who doesn't want to do that? A lot of people probably. Anyway, so um, I, I really don't want to stray too far from that. Is that I want to have the CRT TV be the base of the experiment, but pretty much everything else can change. I mean, if there's a better form of detection, you know, if somebody can get me to build an actual detector that gives out data, a computer can interpret. Because as you know, a cloud chamber, which I plan to use, you would have to film it to get any sort of quantitative results. Obviously, filming's no issue for me. I have a camera and a tripod, but. I'd really like to be able to run this thing so that it could just run like 24-7 or something and actually feed me data as in where these things are because um, the camera obviously you can see where they are but you can't tell exactly where they are exactly the curve or whatever so that would be nice but obviously cloud chambers as best as I can do right now so that's my plan uh, thanks for watching and thanks for uh, dealing with my head shadow and with the darkness and with the fan in the background Anyway, I'll get up to date as soon as I make any more videos in the series, um, but that's where it stands for now. I must do beam experiments until I can build a posit find a positron emission source, put it in place of the heater element in the tube, and then glue the tubes together by vacuum pump, by vacuum gauge, put the tubes, put the um, electron guns in a huge uh, acrylic, no, not acrylic, um, glass, Pyrex tube, vacuum the tube down to an acceptable level. I don't know what that acceptable level is. If you could tell me, that'd be much appreciated, but I have a feeling it's around uh, one micron or so. Um, anyway, um, and then, yeah, that'd be my final plan. But until then, only beam experiments. So thanks for watching.